Hi, Shannon. This is for you for tomorrow or for after tomorrow for your third lesson. Um, so everything I'm going to do today, I'm going to keep it short because it's a big, big jump. But I'm going to introduce what's called the F chord. And the F chord is a is an absolute bear. It's kind of like the equivalent of doing uh, squats and lifting. You know, really deep, heavy squats. Um, it can make you throw up and exhaust your whole body. And if you do it wrong, it can it can um, be a real tough thing. But if you do it right, it's a tremendous um, tool in your arsenal. So an F chord. This is a full F with a bar. But the one that most people learn is the first two uh, strings, the high E, or the, the, the high as far as sounding E, but on the bottom, and the next next to it as well, the, the B. You have to take your index and, and push, push it on both of those, which is a tough thing. And then third, third string and fourth string. So third string, second fret, and fourth string, third fret. That's the way most people do it in the beginning. But the ideal way is to take your entire index finger, bar it across the, the whole first fret, and then take the remaining three and create an E, like an E chord where if you were to play an E, and then just slide it up one, and bar it. And when you think musically, you've had a little piano, you know, E and F, there's a half step, there's no sharp. So here's an E, half step up is, a, is an F. Just like between B and C and E and F, those are the two places in the, the chord, in the, in the you know, musically, that there's no half steps, there's no sharp. But that F chord is a uh, is the hardest. If you can get the F, and you can eventually learn how to bar it, then you're pretty much there as far as chords. That's one of the hardest to get. If you get the F, it's a mountain. It's like Mount Kilimanjaro. You've got to really be determined and be patient and be willing to fail over and over and over again. But eventually, you'll get it. The reason it's cool, and here's what I'm going to show you today, is with an F, an F, Gus, apologies for Gus, stop eating that. An F chord and a C chord, two chords, you already know how to play C, and then an E F, or the barred F. There's a couple songs I'm going to show you, the beginnings of the songs, that you'll hopefully be familiar with at least one of them, maybe both of them. But basically, they're huge, famously iconic rock chestnuts, and they're basically two chords. Um, so, here we go. again is the same as the E and then the F the F then the F sharp and then the G I'm just sliding up going you know half step each fret is a half step so I don't know if you can guess what song it is but if I play I'm gonna play the same stuff I'm just gonna play it in a different position up on the neck the two chords and you probably recognize it if you haven't already
he was a footloose man. Well, now you can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. the whole song okay Rolling Stones here's another song you don't even have to worry about or there's no transition there's no um, you know hook like that for roll for Rolling Stones get get, get what you need um, this is Dave Mason's feeling all right which was made famous by Joe Cocker you may be familiar with him um, Mad Dogs and Englishmen, the live version, which is a great movie, by the way. But it's two chords, and it's actually on piano. It's better on piano because there's a riff on the piano. But you can do it as a way to learn the F chord. Um, C and F. Seems I got to have a change of scene. Every night I have a gust, the strangest dream. By the way things might have been I'm gonna put you on a drum set Left here on my own So it seems I got to leave before I start to scream Someone locked the door And took the keys Feeling alright I'm not feeling too good myself Play a C. C to an F and back to a C. Oh, yeah, that's the whole song. Okay? Now, on piano, there's some other stuff that he does that uh, makes it a unique thing, but two chords, the whole song, two chords. But that F is one of them. And that FC transition is a difficult, hard thing to do, but if you can get it, um, it opens up so many doors and, and so many possibilities of other songs. Ideally, the barred version, which is these three fingers, um, like an E, just, just sliding it up. So you have the third, third um, string, which is your G, first fret, and then the fourth and fifth string the D and the A on the second fret, but then just slide the whole thing up one fret, one slide it all the way up so that you're actually on the second and third frets and you're barring the first. Which would be the same thing as if I took a capo, stuck it on there and just played an E chord. Okay? Basically you're just using your fingers as the capo to change the you know, change the key, change the, change the note. And then the G is just all the way up on the third fret, but you could also just do the G here. So, you know, when you do the, when you try sometime, well, you just might find, get what you need. Right, Gus? Get what you need. Yes, you do. Get what you need. All right. All right, so there you go. There's your help. I'm going to show you tomorrow. F chord, the transition, the different ways to play an F. You could also play it up here. This is actually a C chord. It's the same shape as the E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C, and then this weird shape, this is a weird shape, I'll show you that later. That's another way to, to, to play an F, but that's what I was doing up there. Basically, I'm barring the four, and then I'm taking my pinky and squishing the second, third, and fourth. That's another rascal to be able to do that, because B's, your B up here is like that. I'm barring 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 
fifth, and then I'm taking second, third, and fourth. Which you're like, how in the heck can he do that? How can he get his pinky up and still have the strength to push the second, third, and fourth without touching the first and then bar this? It's seemingly impossible. But if you work at it over and over again, your muscles will get strong enough in your your hand will figure out how to do it. It's just, um, it takes time. But that's the other hard one, but not for today. I'm just gonna show you, just showing you that's what I'm doing up here, if you were curious. Same chords. Just a different position on the neck. All right.